it tonight. I hope you hear this. See you. Fit like a glove. 
Uh, the only other surprise I've had is that uh, there's an awful lot of stuff in Mir. I mean, it's like uh, we've got stuff stowed in every nook and cranny on this vehicle, and uh, there's very little storage space. And that's the biggest surprise that I've, I've come across is just uh, how restricted we are on free storage space. Yeah, uh, Andy, before you pass the microphone off, a senior Russian space official said yesterday or the day before that the suit problem you pointed out was not really a problem at all. And I, am a, I don't speak Russian as well as you do, as you know. But he expressed concern about your willingness to actually complete four months on Mir. At least he, he said that talking about the suit was sort of capricious on your part. And he was concerned that this capriciousness might, might last through the mission. How do you feel about the mission at this point? Any chance you might not stay on Mir for any reason? Uh, no, I'm here to stay. Uh, no, the suit problem was real. I mean, I couldn't get it on. I tried with uh, Anatoly, the commander here, several times to get it on, and it, it was just impossible until we uh, made the adjustments, and then it went on fine. Uh, no, I'm prepared to uh, undertake this mission now, and uh, I'm looking forward to setting up a, a home in the Perota module, and. Uh, uh, getting some personal things out and making it livable and uh, starting the adventure. Well, it's going to be quite an adventure. Pass the mic over to Dave Wolf, if you will. Dave, you have given lots of advice to, to Andy since he came to relieve you, I am sure. I uh, heard you were giving him some more uh, last-minute training this morning. You've said it is hard. You have said that Murphy's Law plays a major role in, in mere operation. What other kinds of advice are you giving to Andy? Well, Andy and I are very busy working together. There's a lot of equipment here to learn how to work. Uh, we've had training on the ground, but of course it's a little different in uh, actual use. Uh, but there's a lot of hints on how to live and how to be efficient and how to keep track of your items and, uh, in fact, how to keep out of each other's way and, and help each other. And I've learned a lot about how these cosmonauts like to live, and I'm trying to pass that knowledge on to Andy. Dave, you said the other day you can feel really good in space, and uh, uh, another interviewer didn't really follow up on that. I am, I'm fascinated by uh, what you mean by really good in space. Tell me more about that feeling. Is it, can you feel better in space than you feel on Earth, or is it better on Mir than it is on the shuttle? Uh, what is this good feeling? Describe it to me more. Well, John, it's really good. And, in fact, I feel better today than when, we, than when we last talked. And it has to do with your mental perception of three dimensions and your ability to move around and your efficiency in motion. Uh, it, it, if you're a scuba diver, your first few dives, you may not be as comfortable. And you know how you can get your job done much uh, when you get more experienced. And it just keeps getting better and better and, and uh, still haven't peaked out. And it's, it's really good. That's great. Uh, Dave, hand the mic to your Mir commander, uh, Anatoly Solovyov, if you will. Commander, we watched Dave Wolf on his spacewalk with you a couple of weeks ago. During that walk, it seemed that you were uh, critiquing his every action, telling him not to touch anything and not to move his feet. What was your main concern during the spacewalk with Wolf, and, and how did he do? Вопрос командиру корабля Анатолию Соловьеву. Вы выходили в открытый космос вместе с Дэйвом Вулпом, и сложилось такое впечатление, что вы во время этого выхода все время критиковали его действия, как будто бы как бы не давали ему ничего трогать и так далее. А какое у вас мнение сложилось в общем о том, как Дэйв Вулф отработал во время этого ВКД? I would like to say that the experiment that we performed during the EVA was basically done by, performed by Dave. I helped him sometimes when he asked me to. So our functions, of course, were uh, uh, outstanding. The experiment was performed uh, very well. And when we were moving along the station, I was giving Dave some hints because this is uh, very naturally his first time in open space and we have a lot of uh, equipment uh, particularly in the area that we are uh, for example there are star trackers uh, and other equipment so I was uh, explaining to him the best way of uh, avoiding uh, the equipment and I recall the uh, first time I went out into uh, space first EVA I did I was given the same advice. Thanks,
Commander, we like the new haircut, by the way. For Bonnie Dunbar, you've been conducting environmental experiments back in the Space Hab all week. What should we know about these projects so far? And uh, one final question for you. You've been to Mir before and said before launch you didn't expect to see much different. Is it much different than your trip a couple of years ago? Well, to answer your last question, uh, it's nice to be back. It's a lot more familiar than it was in 1995. And, of course, uh, Anatoly was my commander at Star City. We trained together for a year, so it was nice to come back and see him again. Uh, the experiments that I'm working back on in a space hab are uh, basically technology experiments for uh, life support for future space stations and vehicles. One of them, uh, the VRA, uh, was designed to uh, help... Uh, purify water, the other one, the VOA, for uh, detecting uh, different compounds in the air. And like in all technologies, uh, you have to test them sometime in their real environment. These uh, devices were designed on the ground to operate in a microgravity environment, and as you know, we don't have any uh, weightless uh, rooms on the Earth, so you have to bring them to space to test them, and right now we're testing them. I think VRA, unfortunately, uh, experienced a shutdown of one of its regulators, but we're working on VOA, and we hope to bring it back up today, and we'll gain a lot of valuable information on it that'll feed into the future. All right, we're all out of time. Uh, for those of you we didn't get to talk to, I'm sorry about that, but uh, we'll look forward to seeing many of you back on Earth soon. And Andy Thomas, we'll talk to you in space again, hopefully in the next few weeks, to see how you're settling in. It's good to see all of you. You look great. This is Mission Control Houston, and this view once again of the double Space Hab module in Endeavour's payload bay in the aft section of the Space Hab module is Mission Specialist Bonnie Dunbar, and in the foreground, Mission Specialist Jim Riley, and with his back to the camera, uh, Dave Wolf, who has just completed his 119-day stay as a member of a Mir crew. The astronauts have just completed stowing away one of the experiments that was conducted during Wolf's tenure on the Mir space station for its return trip back to Earth and have been conversing over the past several minutes with the scientific community here in Houston to ensure that the stowage was accomplished properly and to provide the status of that stowage down to the payload community here in Houston. <laughs> 